time we're taking you to Cork, Ireland. 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 Uh, we've had a really good time. Um, we spent about two weeks in Cork recently and we found it to be colourful, artistic and expensive. Um, uh, and we're just going to run you through it. So here's some, here's some Cork. Go! basically it but we're going to go into the detail of that because it's not just like in the UK where you might go to the odd town or city that invests a bit in the arts and culture and is a bit of a fan for it and then you find some cool stuff it felt like a lot of the places we visited around Cork and in Cork were just brilliant like yeah, they, just they all had, had a lot of personality yeah they all had a lot of color dotted around everywhere a sense of humor almost yeah. and just like everything was quite unique which was yeah. brilliant uh, we saw this place called Kinsale, we saw beautiful buildings there, a lot of independent shops, lots of coloured stuff. Then there's a place called Cove, which is spelled Cobb. Um, you have to, yeah, so don't say that when you're there, say Cove. Cobber. Say Cobber. Um, because everyone will know you're not from around there. Uh, and there's, so that was a really, really lovely place. I had a lovely little cathedral. had a really nice feel around it as well, didn't it? Yeah. The view was good. We like a good view. Uh, no for our, uh, our love of views. It was really apparent in the city of Cork um, when you walk through the main street, the lights, um, just the way everything kind of yeah. felt was really nice. There, there was a bit of colour. The way that even things as small as building signs, like little ornate bits that were put on build, things hanging off of buildings were just a little bit different. A bit more traditional it. maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. you're right. And, um, it just, yeah, it just felt nice. There was a little bit more pride in some things. We hired a car when we were there so we could get around and we didn't go for public transport like we did in Malta. And uh, we did notice that when we were driving that even the road signs were different, but only slightly. Just ones a little in, bit more detailed. Aren't yeah, they? ones in particular that made us laugh were the men at work one. Uh, which I thought he looked like a baker. Yeah, he was like shoving a bun in the oven, if you know what I'm saying. And the, uh, our favourite one was the warning children one because that was on a street that we were staying. I don't even know if that's what that sign's called. Uh, yeah, it's something like, I can't remember the name we now. We were trying to figure out what it, what, what it was trying to tell us. Oh, what, what is this flying car? Um, <laughs> that's Harry Potter sign. Yeah. Oh yeah, could have been that. Um, but um, just, but just, it was just another example yeah. of like a little bit more artistic nature we felt that was, I know it's just because it's different, but it was interesting. Um, so we enjoyed the artistic nature. We did, it was nice. Accommodation costs were, twice, on average, kind of twice what we were looking at in Malta, which is where we were coming from. So um, that was a bit of a shock. So it was just something like, oh my God. Um, so you were looking at an average of maybe, I don't know, just over a hundred pounds a night yeah. for something kind of mid, mid range. Um, which is probably fine for a holiday. Yeah, yeah, if you were just holidaying it there, but we wanted to spend more time and we would have stayed a bit longer um, if we could have. Um, so we would yeah. say that Ireland is expensive. Uh, when we, the odd time that we had a meal out as well, it tend to be at the higher range of what we yeah. would pay in the UK, but it was really good. Um, and yeah, it, it was worth, I would say it's worth it. That's the thing that we're trying to say really. So Jeez. we've got, we've got some kin, kin tail, um, like pale ale, and I, we don't really like, well, I don't really like beer, so we're all going to try it anyway, aren't we, Ruth? Yeah, we will. Right, here we go. just want to show you some of the places that we found um, just so you can kind of see so we're trying to save money we did a few things that you pay for but here's here's some of the stuff we found and the prices that we paid uh, and hope you enjoy it
our favourite things when we were in Ireland was Roaches Point, which we found by accident really. We just went for a drive because we needed to get out. Um, and we found, it was the first place, first beach we found. Yeah. It was lovely. The, the, wasn't what you'd call a sandy touristy beach. No, I've never ever seen, I don't recall, I've never seen the, the sky reflection of the sea in the same way. It was so blue, wasn't it? Mm. One side and then where the cloud was it was horrible and grey. But where the, sun, where the sky was blue it was just gorgeous, wasn't it? Mm. And it had a lighthouse which was beautiful on a little peninsula and it had, oh, it was just lovely, mm. it was really really cool and it was just right at the end like we just found it by fluke by just driving along the coast until we couldn't go any further. But the best thing about it was Sea Dog. Sea Dog. <laughs> we met this black Labrador that was just the absolute boss of the village. He he was out on his own and he like greeted us from the car. Yeah. He came over to us and he was just with us and then he kind of like led us He just chilled with us and just showed yeah. us around. He like, like led us to this bench which we went just stood and looked at the view and he stood on the bench, just stood with us. And then we said, oh, should we go down and look at the beach? And he led us down to the beach. Yeah, he was good. Um, also, he was hefty. When he was yeah, on our bench, it was rickety. I was like, this, this guy's going through that. This guy's going down. But it was, it was so nice, wasn't it? And he, he just hung out on the beach with us. And then when we went, he walked us back to our car, waited for us to get in, walked off and stood at the end of the street and like watched us mm. like get in the car and then he walked off he was happy that we were in the car and that we were basically <laughs> maybe he was security he was like no that. he wasn't he was he was our cork spirit animal <laughs> but yeah that's where he was he was sea dog was our spirit animal and he was our guide but he was amazing right. this little car park which was good right yeah. the sea, which was nice and there were so many shells on the beach yeah so many so many. And kelp and seaweed that sea, yeah. sea dog was just like thrashing it around and biting yeah, through it. Yeah. Um, really but that was our favourite place. Yeah, that was great and it was free. Yay! So, um, thank you very much for joining us in Cork. Uh, we will definitely be um, revisiting Ireland when we've got more time. There's so, so much more to see there. We want to do the Wild Atlantic Way because we know that uh, we've seen some of, some of our friends out there. Mm. Next up everywhere, you guys doing it. <laughs> um, looks really, really good. Um, and um, there's so many other places that we want to go there and we just didn't have time, so can't wait. Yes. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.